This is a 43-year-old man with advanced chronic renal failure comes to the physician to discuss the possibility of undergoing kidney transplantation. He also has type 2 diabetes and hepatitis C. He has been receiving treatment with hemodialysis dialysis for one year. Before the physician has a chance to initiate the discussion on transplantation, the patient says that he's unsure about receiving a transplant. So he, what, he, what does he say? He says that he's unsure about receiving a transplant. He adds that if he were to undergo the procedure, he would rather get a donor kidney from one of his relatives than from a cadaver. So there is more. If he were to undergo the procedure, he would get a donor kidney from the relative than from a cadaver. But initially he said he's unsure about receiving a transplant. Which of the following is the most appropriate next statement by the physician? So let's understand the question more carefully. This patient has chronic renal failure, he has been on dialysis, and he needs, a, he needs a new kidney if he wants to survive. Now, before the physician can have a chance, before the physician has a chance to initiate the discussion on transplantation, the patient says that he's unsure about receiving a transplant. He's unsure about receiving a transplant. He adds that if he were to undergo the procedure, he'd rather get a donor kidney from one of his relatives than from a cadaver. Now, what is your job here? Which of the following is the most appropriate next, temp, ne, next statement by the physician? So obviously, there is some issues of, uh, of the transplantation um, procedure. There are some issues that the, that, the phys, that the patient has about the transplantation. So the first thing for the physician should be to understand where the, his patient is coming from. So that should be the primary goal of the physician. Whether he's a better match, what's the survival rate, all that comes secondary. First, the physician should understand what, why the patient is a, a little bit reluctant um, to get um, the transplant. So the question says, so the option says, choice A, the chances of you dying after receiving the kidney transplant are greatest three to four years after the procedure. This is not what we're dealing with here. That's far beyond the conversation where maybe the patient could ask what's the survival rate and all that. So choice is, is automatically eliminated. Choice B, I want to be sure that I understand your concerns about getting a transplant. Yes, that would be a more appropriate statement because he said he's unsure about receiving a transplant. So I want to be sure that I understand your concerns about getting a transplant because he's putting so much condition so he must have some concerns about it and you want to understand the patient a little bit more. So choice B is definitely something to consider. Choice C, I want you to know that transplantation will improve your life, lifestyle and life expectancy as compared to hemodialysis. So this is also something you're jumping, the, here the physician is jumping to the conclusion that the patient um, is, you know, he does, he's unaware that his lifestyle is going to be improved with this um, transplant. So the patient might already know that. It might be completely something different. Or it might just be this one. He might not even know. So instead of having a more direct question, um, the better thing to do is having an open-ended question to understand so that the patient speaks his mind. So also this is a more direct one, so I would rule this out. Choice D, please reconsider using a cadaveric kidney. That way you wouldn't have to... In you wouldn't have to inconvenience any relatives and waiting list is only one year. Again, you're jumping to a conclusion. We want to understand the patient first and then give our opinion. Choice E, that's fine, but the transplant procedure is very invasive and we need to determine if it would be safe for you to go further with this. Again, this is a wrong choice because the, pa the physician says, the physician says that's fine, okay? No, you are not you don't know whether the relative is going to be a good match. You don't know um, if you can even find a kidney. Um, there's so many other variables. So saying that's fine, it's not appropriate by the physician. That's fine, but the transplant procedure is very invasive and we need to determine if it would be safer to go further with this. You need to get permission from the relative. You need to get, uh, see, you need to see if the relative is a good donor. And there's so many other factors. So, Physici 
us physicians, we cannot just jump to the conclusion that it's fine, you know, we will do whatever you want. No, there are so many other variables. So before we can promise anything to the patient, we should be able to understand where he's coming from. So in this case, the best answer would be choice B. I want to be sure that I understand your concerns about getting a transplant.